I try not to remember I'm getting married on Saturday so that I could concentrate on my jumping. It's like I can't multitask right now, so. Life is full of ups and downs. For this bride and groom, so is the wedding. See ya. See ya. See ya. And how might you expect two base jumpers to get hitched? You got it. By hurling themselves off a bridge. Spencer Bisley is a respiratory therapist, but he's not eyeing up that hospital for professional reasons. Nope. Spencer's also a base jumper with over 400 jumps. Base stands for building, antenna, span, and earth. And Spencer is happy jumping off all of them. From a tower in Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia, Woo! to the cliffs of Moab in Utah. 69. It was jumping off bridges that led Spencer to his American bride to be. The Perrine Bridge of Twin Falls, Idaho, the most jumped bridge in the world. I ended up meeting Spencer and I just we kind of hit it off right away and I started asking him questions about bass and he took me under his wing and basically became my mentor. I remember driving back um, to Calgary and just had her on my mind the whole drive back. And um, I think I phoned her like a couple of days afterwards. I got a hold of her. And um, we just reached this point where we just both stopped talking. I had my cell phone. It was right to my ear. And it was just like this electric shock going right through my whole body. Nothing was being said, but it was just this incredible communication we were having right through the lines. Something I've never experienced before. That was the beginning of it. Spencer proposed to Sandy three months later, but the two lovers had a problem. He's Canadian and she's American. After months of immigration paperwork, Spencer is finally allowed to enter the United States and marry his American bride. The marriage will take place where else but the Perrine Bridge of Twin Falls, where they first fell for each other. Doing something that we both really love to do and doing it with somebody that you love and it just made sense. It just made sense because this is where we met. Um, we're going to um, say our vows and then we're going to take the big plunge, as it were, <laughs> into the Snake River. <laughs> oh no. Perched on another bridge in Vancouver, Canada, John and Alicia are also poised for the big leap. But base jumping oh isn't their gosh. thing. That's a little, that's a little, that's a little shaky. <laughs> this American couple has traveled all the way from the sunshine of New Orleans for another reason. Some more. A little touch of danger, a little Definitely touch of the unknown. And that all seems to flow real well with uh, getting married. Uh, because it's, we're a little unsure of that, and it, you know, it's going to be an experience. And <laughs> not that we're unsure about wanting to be married, but it's a, it's a, it, it can be a little nervous. So. Plus, you're already nervous on a roller coaster, right. so <laughs> why not? Add a it's little a extra. good excuse that we can hide our fear. <laughs> Vancouver is home to one of the oldest roller coasters in North America. This is where John and Alicia will start their life together, with the ride of their life. I'm sure we'll both be nervous for the ride. You know, there's always that nervousness for any roller coaster on the way up, but to stop and say your vows before the plunge, you'll just be a little extra nervous. I can't wait, I'm ready for it. So I just, I'm just gonna scream as loud as I can and, and put my one hand in the air and one arm around her and, and go with it. Brave words, but these two are in good hands. Local marriage commissioner Kathy Sharan has come on board. 
I'll be there. Okay. I'm going to perform your ceremony. You're going to say, I do. You're going to kiss. And then it's going to take the plunge. That's exactly what we wanted. You will all take exactly the plunge. That's exactly what we wanted. Okay. So that'll be great. If I could make a suggestion, mm -hmm. I would call Laura and okay. ask her if the roller coaster can be run in the rain. Yeah, we can. Um, we'll, we'll think about. We'll think that. Think about it. We'll Great. come up with something. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, being on this little catwalk, I'd like to know how wide it is and how safe it looks. And I have to say that if it's if I don't feel safe doing this wedding, I won't be able to do it in that I position. Right. I understand. And he's just a really nice guy. He's sweet. He's smart. It's hard to find someone who's, you know, on the same intelligence level as you. You know, we can have conversation. We don't run out of things to talk about. That's pretty important. And she's beautiful. You know, that was that was a no-brainer. And she's smart. She's intelligent. She uh, has a good sense of humor. And uh, I don't know. It, it just always felt right. <laughs> Like Rehearsal really day for a roller coaster wedding is a little more complicated than strolling down a church aisle. Will it rain and put the roller coaster off limits? Okay. And will Kathy, the marriage commissioner, feel That's safe enough perched on a catwalk 70 feet in the air? At every single bolt, is that checked every day? Every single bolt that is uh, useful to the ride, yeah. They, they're all useful to it, aren't they? Not all. In 1958, some things got changed out, oh, and the okay. old stuff just got left in. Is that moss? This 50-year-old roller coaster is faithfully maintained, but you can't help but wonder what part of the ride that guy's fixing. Bride and groom don't look worried, okay. and that doesn't surprise Alicia's father one bit. As soon as she was ready, high enough to reach the bar at Astro World, she got on. I had to offer her $50 if she didn't like it. And she liked it, so I didn't have to have to pay that money back to her. So it all worked out good. It's a different story for John's parents. When I first heard it, I thought it was a joke. <laughs> I, I thought so, too. I thought it was really a we joke. We really didn't We believe don't know how to take them all the time, you know? <laughs> when we first heard Jordan and Alicia were going to get married on a roller coaster, I told him life had enough ups and downs. He didn't have to add to it. <laughs> I think we're on rain or shine, yeah. and uh, hopefully hopefully it'll be uh, like this. That'll be great. So. Yeah. And if it absolutely pours, I mean, really porous. Let's just go ahead and do Let's it. Let's do it anyway. I'm, it I'm, I feel weather. the same way. <laughs> we'll just, we'll just, it'll just make it that much more interesting. Yeah. <laughs> the safety officer has won Kathy oh, over, okay. and it looks like the ride will go oh, rain or shine. Oh, that's now it's uh, all coming down to the wire, so. We're ready. You ready? <laughs> I hope you're ready. <laughs> John and Alicia may be ready, but Sandy and Spencer have a few more practice jumps before their wedding. Three, Three two, two, one, go. The worst thing that could happen is like any is is what you might expect is that someone could die. And um, the thing and that's something that we're always aware of with this kind of sport. It's not a it's not a game at all. Nothing like adding a little risk to romance. Here at the Playland Roller Coaster in Vancouver, bride and groom will exchange vows 70 feet in the air before taking the plunge into married life. When John told me about it, I said, how in the world did you convince Alicia to go along with this? And he said it was her idea. <laughs> Damn, I'm sure y'all have heard that a few times already. Let me go this way, man. I don't know. But, uh, I don't know. Now I'm lost. I'll let you go across. <laughs> yeah, I always, I always have somebody to do it for me. <laughs> I don't know if I can do it backwards. But just do it, do it around your neck. Do it around your neck and lose, and lose, and then slide it over your head. It's nice to look nice, you know, in a situation where you're trying to convince somebody to spend their life with you. It's a little easier <laughs> if, you, if you look a little better. I don't know if we could ever top the thrill of the roller coaster wedding. You know, any other roller coaster just won't be the same. The extra nerve involved with, you know, the commitment of your life. 
Yeah, that's pretty thrilling. Okay, we'll be ready to go in about three minutes. Oh my God. There's no rain on the horizon, the train has left the station, and bride and groom have nowhere to go but up. We're gathered together to celebrate with John and Alicia the marriage in which they are now to be united. Do you, John, take Alicia to be your wife? To whom you give your deepest love and respect in times both good and poor, and to nurture and grow with her as long as you both shall live? I will. Do you, Alicia, take John to be your husband, and to nurture and grow with him as long as you both shall live? I do. John, please place the ring on Alicia's finger, repeating after me. Will you, Alicia? Will you, Alicia? Accept this ring. Accept this ring. As a loving symbol. As a loving symbol. Of my vows this day. Of my vows this day. I will. Will you, John? Will you, John? Accept this ring. Accept this ring. As a loving symbol. As a loving symbol. Of my vows this day. Of my vows this day. I will. Since you, John, and Alicia have pledged yourselves to each other in this bond of marriage and have declared your mutual pledge before this company and in my presence by joining your hands and the giving and receiving of these rings, now upon the authority vested in me by the province of British Columbia, I pronounce you husband and wife. You may kiss. If John and Alicia's wedding was full of ups and downs, Sandy and Spencer's has only one thing, down and fast. They have six seconds from the time they jumped to the time they would hit the water if their parachutes didn't open. There's no time for mistakes. When you combine leaping into marriage with leaping off a bridge, it can be particularly emotional. For safety's sake, Sandy and Spencer have decided to do a series of practice jumps. Sandy's parents seem to trust their son-in-law to be. Um, this is the second time we've met Spencer. Um, and he he's calm, cool, collected. I think he's good for her uh, in that manner because she's a little nervous twit, I think. Shouldn't use that word. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, uh, I think he's a calming effect on her, so as far as the jumps and things are concerned, I think he's going to be good for her for the rest of her life. I mean, I think it's a good match. It's indescribable. I don't want to cry. <laughs> um, it's like, I know people say it's like you're marrying your soulmate, but it's like I'm marrying my best friend. Just marrying somebody that I totally trust. And, um, oh, he's my darling. <laughs> Sandy may be a romantic, but she's no lightweight. Although she only has a few base jumps, she has over 300 skydives. She was also a Marine in the first Gulf War. 
I've seen her dismantle an M16, and uh, <laughs> I'm quite impressed. <laughs> Yes, she'll be very trustworthy. Yes, I won't, and I won't mess with her. I will not cross her. <laughs> One last practice jump before the wedding. These two are head over heels in love. Literally. taking a long time to pack his parachute. Should have been done probably an hour ago. Pack so he's easing into it. Spencer! Pack your parachute. Pack your parachute, would you? You have to get married. You have to get married, like right now. We're leaving. <laughs> and you're the man. This is going to make it really as relaxing as you can possibly make it mm. a wedding, considering you're jumping off a 486-foot bridge. Did those napkins come in yet, honey? I forgot to get bring your ring. Oh, no. Details, minor details. Packing is one of the most important aspects of base jumping. There is no time to open a reserve chute and no time to straighten out twisted lines. Walking down the aisle, this isn't. And Sandy is just learning how to pack a base rig. I guess the challenge for me is that I'm pretty new to base. And I've never been married before, so the combination of those two. At this point, after you do the repeat after me thing and give the ring, then I'll give you the opportunity to say whatever you want to say to each other. See, this is why we're not going to just, like, do our vows on the bridge, because <laughs> that would just be too much. So... <laughs> With all the heightened emotion, Spencer and Sandy are taking extra precautions. They have decided to exchange their vows on solid ground. Then Sandy's father will walk her onto the bridge where she'll make the leap of her life. I'll walk her to the jump, but that's as far as I go. <laughs> I told her I'd do that. As long as I didn't have to jump, I would do that. How you doing? Ready to try? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Marriage is a supreme sharing of experiences, guys. It's an adventure in the most intimate of human relationships. It's a joyous union of two people whose comradeship and mutual understanding have grown into romance. Would you two face each other? At this time, I'll ask Sandy. Do you give yourself totally to Spencer, striving to do whatever you can to help him feel happy and secure, treating him with kindness and understanding and respect throughout your lives? If so, signify by saying, I will. I will. I will, completely. Could I have the rings, please? Cue slips. Cue slim. <laughs> the ring bearer is base jumper known slim? to all as Slim. Slim traveled all the way from Australia for the wedding, but he somehow managed to miss the ceremony. So we aren't exchanging rings? We are exchanging rings. A little later. On the, on the, bridge. On the bridge, right before the jump. <laughs> we can punt. We can punt. Okay. okay. <laughs> Guys, at this time, I'm going to give you an opportunity to say whatever you'd like to each other. Spencer, I had this big, long speech that I was going to say to you, and I memorized it and read it down and read it over and over again. And after a while, I just realized there are no words that can describe how much I love you and how much I cherish you and how much respect that I have for you and know that I will always stand by your side. Sandy, I knew the moment when I met you that you were so special. Something was so special about you. And you show me that something is so special about us. I'll be with you for, for, yeah, forever, sweetheart. Okay. Sandy and Spencer in so much that you two have pleasured yourselves to each other in the presence of these witnesses, your friends and family, fellow base jumpers, <laughs> crazy <Yeah>. all. <laughs> I, uh, it's my honor to pronounce that you were man and wife. 
Let me make this a run. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. and Mrs. Simpson. Yes, <laughs> Thank you, everyone, for coming out. Maybe the truth. Maybe the truth. <laughs> 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 Slim finally appears, and the wedding procession makes its way out onto the bridge. Even now, these jumpers watch the wind to see if it's still safe to jump. Strong winds are dangerous, and base jumping leaves no room for error. Conditions are right, emotions run high, and bride and groom exchange rings before sealing the marriage with a daring jump off a 486-foot bridge. Make a base jump. Go down. Okay. Salt, the groom opens lower and lands sooner. But his new wife is right on his tail.